everyone and welcome to our first summer newsletter. We have so much going on here on campus. It's quiet without all the kids, but it is not quiet in terms of being busy. We have started some really exciting things on both the St. Gabriel's campus and the St. Michael's campus. As you can see behind me here, um, we have started construction on updating our multi-purpose field on the St. Gabriel's campus. It is going to be really exciting for the kids when they come back. There will be um, an updated field and, uh, for the kids to play recess every day, uh, as well as practice soccer and lacrosse, but then additionally, uh, much more well-defined baseball practice area and hopefully softball one of these days uh, with new fencing and updated lighting. So we're so excited and thank you to some incredibly generous families who have donated to make sure that this could happen for our students. It's really, really exciting. At the high school, we are really enjoying um, getting ready to update the Carter um, Gymnasium, or I should say the Carter Center. The gym it doesn't need updating itself, but the, the uh, locker rooms and the training room and the weight room, we are spending the summer updating those and um, putting in new lighting and, and painting and things like that. And we're also um, adding um, some updated and energy efficient windows to the original academic building. Um, so that should have a little bit of a facelift when um, everyone returns to campus in the fall. So we're excited about all the things that we get to do to take care of our precious campus. In addition, our teachers have been hard at work. I know it's crazy, it's summer, and they are still working. Um, that's the nature of how great our faculty is. But uh, the first week that we were out, we did a really wonderful um, joint lower, middle, and high school um, professional development. We did several things. We kind of got ready to close out the year and, and get ready for next year. Um, in our classrooms, we invited the Center for Transformative Teaching and Learning from Maryland that the St. Gabriel's faculty has been working with over the last year and now they're ready to move into the high school curriculum with the high school faculty and so um, we did a joint professional development around that and what is mind-brain education and how do we use that to inform our teaching and instruction to be more responsive to the students in front of us no matter whether they are at the lower school, the middle school, or the high school. Uh, this week we have Responsive Classroom here doing training for both our faculty that still need it and uh, any faculty and staff from around Austin and Central Texas who are coming to join us uh, for that important social-emotional learning um, curriculum and instruction approach. And then next week we have our annual training for our faculty and staff through the diocese and to um, maintain our um, understanding of Catholic identity for all of our faculty, and that is the um, basic teachings of Catholicism course that um, our very own Farrah Golab teaches here on campus. So lots going on as we close out the school year and get ready for the fall. So I hope you're having a wonderful summer. I will see you again soon, and we'll continue to keep you updated on the great things that are happening here on campus. And um, until I see you next, have a wonderful summer.